Hi, my name is Dr. Chris Cabana. I'm one of the fuel specialist chemists here at Gold Eagle. I'm going to go through with you today a commonly used misleading tabletop demo. All right, here on the board we have uh, broken down and extrapolated the numbers of what you'll see in common tabletop demos. What you'll typically see is a test tube with about 50 milliliters of gasoline and you'll, people will put in about 20 milliliters of additive with, a, with about a milliliter of water. Uh, and what they'll show you is this 20 milliliters of additive brings up the water into the fuel layer. Uh, this is misleading because the ratios are all off. If you were to extrapolate this out to a real world scenario, you're looking at, um, if you have one gallon of gas, you're putting in about 25 and a half ounces. This, this equates to a lawnmower situation. Uh, if you go even farther to 20 gallons of gas, which you would find typically in a car or a boat, you're putting in four gallons of additive. Uh, what this equates to, if you're looking at buying bottles of additive, is $640 worth of, of additive or 128 bottles, which is completely unrealistic. Here you see a common uh, setup for this tabletop demo. What I'm going to do first is going to show you how little water it takes to cause phase separation. In here, I'm putting a fraction of a milliliter into the, into the fuel. And as you can see, you still get phase separation at the bottom. In this other one, I'm going to put one milliliter of water into the fuel. Now what I'm going to do is apply an additive based on the industry uh, standard treat rate. Now I'll apply the same amount of additive to the vial that has one milliliter of water and 50 milliliters of gasoline. As you can see, using the industry accepted treat rate, this water is still present. For more information on ethanol blended fuels, go to our website at goldeagle.com.